What's going on, y'all? It's that guy, Alpha Ordinary 808, and I'm stopping through. Just want to say, feeling good this morning. It's a beautiful day. But at any rate, let's get to what's really this comes about. So, last installment, Mr. Ordinary got down handling his business. And, uh, you know, there's been some rumblings going on. And, you know, we're a well knit family at Black House. And I'm really not exactly sure why. So, right after I get the call, I'm at the gym and my PR comes in right as we get through. You see me and Aldo here going there. Just some great sparring. Just trying to get the. Trying to just work each other out, man. We, you know, two top competitors. Trying to get better at our craft. Want to be at the top of the game. And I haven't heard word of who my next challenge is for my title. And it just so happens that, uh. It's Jose Aldo Jr. Like. I don't really know how I feel about this. Like, I remember watching this a few months ago, Rashad Evans and John Jones, and I didn't think I would ever run into this situation. But then again, I mean, hey, damn it, it's professional. Like, this is what we do. Everybody wants to be that top alpha male, and I got the belt, so why ain't? Why wouldn't he come for it? He's an amazing athlete. Y'all seen him? Y'all know how he gets down in the octagon. So. I'm not going to take anything from him. I'm going to give him everything I got. And I'd be damned if he takes my title. Um, You know, I don't want no hard feelings afterwards. I'm sure uh, we can hash things out. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I really don't feel comfortable. But, hey, at the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do. I got mouths to feed. You feel me? Can't I can't hold nothing back. So... I guess I'm ready. No, I don't guess. I know. He's got to take this ass whooping. There's no other bones about it. What's going on, y'all? It's your neighborhood friendly superhero, Alpha Ordinary 808. You ain't heard that in a while. I know. Felt like bringing it back. Feeling good. The lovely Shandella. She alright. She didn't want me to tell nobody I paid for that belly button ring. So, here we go, man. It's real ordinary taking on Jose Aldo. Two members of the Black House family. And, uh, you know, I told you, hey, if we got to go to war, we got to go. Oh, beautiful head kick, I ain't going to lie. And, you know, his strikes are phenomenal. But being that me and him train together, we kind of know, you know, we got a little feel for each other. We kind of are like two peas in a pod, if you want to say if you want to feel like using that term. So I'm like, hey, I'll do whatever I got to do to beat this guy. I don't want to lose my belt. But if I do lose it, hey, who else would I rather lose it to? Another top competitor, which I know he could dominate the division as well. So he's got me on the ground right now. Ground and pound 101. And you see, I'm trying to reserve my energy, my stamina. I burnt a little bit of energy right there. Oh, open fist to the head. And I'm trying to give him the strikes, you know. Nothing like giving them the two piece in the biscuit early in the morning. Get your system flowing. And uh yeah. So this is a great fight, man. You know, I hope you feel like staying around for a small minute. It might run a little long, I'm not gonna lie. I believe it's about three, four rounds. Don't worry. But it's you know, it's gonna be action packed though. You're still gonna get a great ending, you know. Look for fireworks. We always do it like that. So, um, real quick, let me just ease on into this next topic. I really don't have a topic. It's just something I noticed on the side. A cleft note, if you want to <laughs> use that. Um, so I'm with Team Black House. You know, that's who I'm repping on. That's my camp on here. And, uh, I don't know if anybody else has noticed. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, is this supposed to be some humor or... I'm not trying to read too much into it. Just let me know what you think. You know, you can drop something in the comments. So, if you notice on your screen, not this screen, but when you're playing the game, when you get to that menu, 
where you're training and doing your level up moves, basically your camp. If you look on the back wall, if I'm not mistaken, they have a mural back there on the wall of President Barack Obama. Now, I noticed his left eye has like a black eye under it, and I'm like, pause. Like, is that supposed to be saying, you know, is that a metaphor? I don't know. If anybody else can share with me, you know, help a young, educated black brother. Help me out. Put me up on game. You know, I don't want to be no anti-racist or nothing like that. I'm just a little confused. Like, why would you have the president on the wall with a black eye? You know, the last thing I remember a game like that was the Rock'em Sock'em game with George Bush. I know y'all remember that. Like, you could punch the hell out of him on the, you know, on the mobile phone. And you could, like, mess his face all up. You could even do Osama Bin Laden like that. So, um, I ain't gonna just, like, stay on that, you know. Let's keep it moving. Uh, Yeah, so, big fights this weekend also. Didn't feel like doing the video for I figured I'd just add it in here. Frank Mir taking on Junior Dos Santos. I, I can't even say his little tag name. Y'all know about Dos Santos. Siganago, what, whatever it is, man. Hell, y'all know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, um, Dos Santos is a bad dude. Like, I didn't know his striking. Like, I watched him, you know, and he kind of surprised me the way that he, because he really, like, dismantled uh, Kane Velasquez. And I've been watching Kane, too, so watching Kane get to the title, like, you seen how great his striking was. And Dos Santos kind of like flew under the radar, like, but he was still banging out the hits too. And I was real disappointed in that title fight that was on uh, Fox. You know, that was, I don't want to just call it grade A bullshit, but hey, if the shoe fits, wear it. Like, how you, how you have an hour program and you got one fight. Come on, man. And then the fight was a one round knockout. Like, that was like basically a Mike Tyson pay-per-view all over again. Except for we didn't pay for it. So I guess I can't complain. It was on TV. It was free. So, uh, yeah. And then, you know, you have Frank Mir also. Very great at jiu-jitsu. Gets you on the ground. And it's got all kind of tricks for the submission. He's a wizard down there. So, you know, it's... But he can also strike, too. Don't, don't get me wrong. I just think that Frank Mir is going to come up a little short in this one. Um... I don't know how many shots he can take. He's, you know, he's been around the sport for a while. So, well, pause my commentary. Damn, did you see that? Jose Aldo just cocked back way, like, from Brazil and came back with that overhand right. It was like, ah, oh, you can. <laughs> oh, man. That's what it felt like. I ain't going to lie. But, uh, yeah, so we're in round two. You know, 30 seconds ticking down. And uh, both of these two are still going at it, continuing to strike. Here we go, back and forth. You know, this is what we really want in the sport. We want the back and forth bang and the, you know, the overhead kicks and uh, the flying off the damn cage. Yeah, that's what I want to add right quick, real quick. Don't hold me to it, but if this gets to any guys who is working on their... THQ for the next installment. Man, that damn Anthony Pettis flying off the cage shit. If we can get that in the game, like, that would be bananas. Like, I ain't just, like, gonna go over the top about that damn move, but when I actually seen it again, like, come on, man. He flew off the cage, y'all. Like, for real? You do a running kick off the cage, sir? Ah, uh, yeah. Pure excellence. So, um, I don't know. I feel like at this point that I want to leave it open to everybody. Like, drop, drop a comment in my box down below and uh, tell me pretty much what you want going forward. You want me to switch it up? You want me to go back towards? More 2K, which we're gonna we gotta stop back through there anyway. You know, there's still things popping over there. 
Are you ready for some NCAA 13? Because it's coming. You want some more COD? Uh, fight night? Let me know what you kind of want to see on the channel. I'm not going to tell you that that's what's going to happen, but, you know, suggestions are always welcome. And, uh, I'm open to tips as usual. By my presentation, my commentary, what's, what you like about it, what you dislike. I think I'm corny as hell. Uh, suspect, too much space in between. If I'm rambling, just put all that down there, man. I don't care. Um, so, you know, for the first time ever, I'm pretty sure a commentator's gonna say, I'm a welcoming troll. Yeah, you can troll the hell out this video. I don't care. But make sure that if you're gonna critique, if I go back to your channel, I'm gonna be able to see something that I can learn from. Don't critique me and you have three videos and have a damn camcorder or, you know, stupid stuff. We don't even have any uploads at all. You don't critique. You just sit and smile and nod your head from the side. That's what you do. So, um, you know, um, I'm going to go back live. I'm going to let you get back into the fight, get back into all that. Rah, rah, rah. Punch you in the face. Kick, kick, kick. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to head out, man, and shout out to... First, let's shout out God. Hell, that's what we need to do first and foremost. Let me not get into that, but yeah, that's what I want to shout out first. Shout out my Lord and Savior. Because I can't commentate. I can't do anything if he doesn't decide to touch me in the morning, put his two fingers on top of my forehead, and give me life again. So, after that, I want to shout out the VTG Network just because they decided to take a chance on me. So, trying to make them proud. And, uh, not, you know, let's let, let's make this clear. Bandwagon fan? Hell no. Nah. I'm Laker Nation all day. But you got to put it where it is. So, shout out to iPod King Carter and everybody else who's rolling with him in the Philly, Philly Nation. Because they came up big in game six. Like, that's big as hell. And, they're, you know, they're the underdog of the playoffs right now. It's so obvious.